Welcome everyone, this is John Sheely with IamADayTrader.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can trade using what is known as the Dome and many other trading platforms, as well as the TradeStation matrix. There are many trading platforms and brokerages that have the same capacity and the same capability for easily entering trades and modify trade exits. That includes buy stops and of course profit targets. But as you know, we must review our risk disclaimers. Trading carries a high degree of risk and trading may not be suitable for all persons. Past returns are not indicative of future results. Please review our risk disclaimer very carefully. Additionally, I place our hypothetical disclaimer as well. In IamADayTrader.com, we create a great amount of research and the creation of indicators and strategies. Like other research firms, we use hypothetical data to create our discoveries. Please review our hypothetical disclaimer very carefully. And what you're seeing in all domes here, you're basically seeing a particular lower level of prices and higher above the current price. That's the bid, that's the ask. You're seeing actually the number of contracts being bid for at that particular time. Now what I'm doing at this particular time, this is an evening trading, and so you're seeing a relatively low number of contracts. Of course, during the active sessions in regards to London and as well, of course, the U.S., you're going to see more contracts at bid and ask. You're going to be see between 50 to 100 in regards to every price level. But you're seeing at this particular time the number of contracts that is currently bid for at that price. Here on the right side, these are the number of contracts that are offered at a particular price. Here you're looking at a volume at 53.80. Watch the values here. You can see it's beginning to go down. People maybe have filled that price level at 53.80. You can then estimate what is the number of contracts at 53.81 offered. You can see that there are 21. 53.82, 20. Then you take a look on the downside. There are a number of contracts bid for at 53.79. That's 11 contracts. Take a look at the number of contracts bid for at 53.78. So this is how traders can kind of follow how many contracts are being offered and then how many contracts are bid for. Of course, the volume will go up significantly during the daily sessions. On the right side of the video, I'm showing the prices of a 233 tick bar in the chart. Now at the moment, because the market is relatively thin, what I'm gonna use, because I'm gonna give several examples of how to use the dome are the trade station matrix. Now because the market is relatively slow at this particular time, especially during the evening, I'm using a simulator. So I'm basically going to enter some trades to give you some examples of how to use the dome as well as known as an OSO or what some platforms use is OCO. One cancels the other. So I'm gonna give you an illustration of how to enter a trade, where to put stops, and where to put stop losses. Like many other platforms that uses the dome, you're gonna easily see how to put particular trades because the dome will automatically tell you whether or not you need to sell as a limit or whether or not to sell as a stop loss. Let me show you an example. What I've done here is now is widen out the orders. So I can show you exactly what the dome or the matrix does automatically in regards to set up a particular trade. Let me show you. We are currently trading at 53.80. Let's say that we want to put a limit sell at 53.90. As you take a look, when I put it at 53.90, it automatically knows that I'm going to sell as a limit because it is currently above the current price. So I don't have to decide whether or not that's a limit order above 53.90. It automatically knows it's going to sell 
versus limit. Let me show you what happens when it automatically puts a sell under the current price is 53.80. When I look at trying to sell at 53.70, the dome and the trade station matrix, it automatically knows it needs to be placed as a stop at market. So when I click on 53.70, it automatically means that if prices begin to fall, it is going to sell at market once price reaches 53.70. At current price, let's say instead I would like to buy if the prices fall to a certain price. Let's say that I want to buy at 53.70. Notice that when I put my mouse on that price, it automatically knows that what I'm looking to do is buy one contract as a limit order. So once I click on that, once price reaches that price, I'm going to go long based upon the limit of 5370. Let me cancel that and take a look at what happens when we put a buy above the current price. Automatically, the dome and the trade station matrix knows that if I'm trying to place a trade at 5390, it automatically knows that I must be willing to put on a stop at market order at 5390. So when I left click, it is a execution going to market once prices have touched 5390. So as you can tell, when you put your prices above the current price, it automatically knows to sell it as a limit. If I put my mouse underneath the current price, it automatically knows they're going to put a stop market based upon the lower prices. If I want to put a buy above the current price, it automatically knows I'm going to need to put in a buy stop at market price. If I put it underneath the current price at a certain price, it knows that I'm going to buy one contract with a limit order. All of this is done automatically. Now again, I'm showing some examples here that I'm going to use for the dome. This is why I'm going to use the simulator because I'm going to enter some longs and some shorts and how to close the trade. So it will be based upon this use of a simulator. I'm going to show an example right here in regards to putting a sell stop just under the current price, 53.77. The first example I'm going to show is how to sell at market. Here the current price is 53.76. At this particular time, we'll talk about having an attached OSO for TradeStation or an OCO. To go at market, all domes have the same button. Buy at market, sell at market. So in this particular case, let's say you want to sell at market. Order filled. It is now filled because I sold at market rather than a particular limit order. Now, once anyone has entered this trade, the first thing you do is to do what? Put your stop loss somewhere in the dome. Let's say I want to put a stop loss of 10 cents for $100. Notice that when I move this up, it's going to say buy at stop market. So I will put one at the same price of the entered. I click on that. I now have a stop loss at 53.88. Now remember, now that starts is that if prices hit that price, I will now go at market. That doesn't mean I'm going to be filled at 88, even 90, even 95. If the prices run very fast, it's called slippage. Well, if that's the case, I actually may get filled much higher than the current price at 53.88. I could have been filled at close to 54. But normally, you'll be able to be filled within this area right here. Let's say you now want to take some partial profit in this particular trade. I only have one contract here. Let's say that you want to go ahead and put a limit order at 53.88. 72. Buy one market. I've put it underneath because it knows automatically that I'm going to put as a limit order. I'll left click. 
I now have a order to buy one at a limit of 53.72. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to be filled just because it touches once at 53.72. There are several contracts that are going to be in front of you by the time you have entered your limit order. But most of the time prices will at least go through your particular price and you'll be able to get filled. So at this particular time we've gone short, we have put a protective buy stop, and we have a limit order to take profit at 53.72. A beautiful thing about domes is that you can adjust your orders easily. I had originally a stop loss at 53.88 for a loss of a potential hundred dollars. Well now that the market is moving down I can now move my buy stop closer to the current price. So I'm easily being able to move this around easily in, in the domes. So now I've moved from a hundred dollar risk to a fifty dollar risk. Again it's based upon going to market once 53.83 trades. The same thing can happen if you decide to I'm going to move my limit in regards to instead of 53.72 I'm going to move this up for a $50 trade at 53.73. Like other platforms that have domes or matrices, there's other ways you can basically close a trade. Almost every platform is going to have a button that's basically called close. What that means, if you decide to go ahead and close the trade, all you have to do is click on close. What it does, it cancels your limit order, it cancels your buy stop order, it then closes the trade entirely. You were short one contract, it will now buy one contract automatically at market. So that's what the close button does. If you decide to go ahead and execute the trade and not worry about the limits and not worry about the stops, you can just click Order filled. close. Now, what you've seen now is that the price actually hit our profit target of $50. Now, now that we filled that trade, what do you think you need to do here? You have it. We have to cancel that stop loss level because if you forget and the market starts to run up, you're going to get filled uh, by being long one contract. So if you get short, you have now taken profits, then you need to cancel any order that you may have. There's buttons here that allow you to be able to do that. You can do it in the dome by canceling, but also almost every platform has cancel all. That means it's going to cancel either the bids or just cancel them all. I'll show you an example. I'm going to left click on cancel all and now our buy stop is gone. We have no trade. We have no stop loss. We have no working orders. That's always important. Always take a look and your platform. You may forget that you have an opening order. If you see a close button that is still green, that is still able to close your trade, then you probably have an open order somewhere. When you are grayed out, that means I have no orders working at this particular time. Believe me, if the prices move very quick and you are move prices a long ways in regards to the current price, you may have missed the ability to see an old order. So always be careful that you have no opening orders here. Closing are canceling all trades is exactly what you need to do. Always make sure that you have no opening orders right now. Now I'm going to show you what is known as the OSO in regards to TradeStation Matrix. In some platforms it is called an OCO with giving you the same ability. I'm going to now click on Attach OSO. What that does is it's going to 
put the trade on based upon where I put my current prices. For example, let's say I want to go short as a limit at 53.76. I've now clicked on it. Take a look at what you see in the screen. This is where I will now enter a short position if prices run into 53.76. If I am executed, don't have to worry about putting both a limit order and a stop loss order. It will automatically do that. And the reason it's going to be able to do that is, let's say I go short. Now, of course, like other platforms, if I want to modify my initial order, all I need to do is cancel all. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of the OSO at current price. Let's assume that I am now going to go at limit and hit the bid at 53.73 using the OSO. Order filled. I am now filled. What it has done now is I now have a buy stop ahead of the market at 83, which is 10 cents, and I have a limit at 53.66. What we've done now is automatically put a little collar between the current price. If prices runs up, it will hit my buy stop at 53.83 and then go to market. It will automatically cancel my limit order. So I don't have to worry about closing both. Instead, if price moves down and it hits my limit order, it will, of course, fill that trade, but it will automatically cancel the buy stop. So as you can tell, it's very handy in regards to having good money management. If I enter a trade, it automatically has a buy stop. It automatically has a limit. And of course, you can modify your orders. If you want to put a closer buy stop, you just move it to a particular price and change it. This is within milliseconds here in regards to moving from one to another. Let's say you want to move your limit to a 50 cent profitability. Again, you can move this. If you want to decide, I'm just going to close the trade. I don't like the position at the particular moment. All you need to do is go to the close button. And once it does that, it's going to go at market and then it's going to cancel both of the buy stop and the limit. And I'll show you an example. I'll click the close. Order filled. It filled at 74 and the buy stop and the buy limit are canceled automatically. Lastly, let's take a look at the place OCO order in TradeStation, but other platforms have a similar, other platforms have the same order technique. Place OCO order as an example. I'm not going to enter a trade based upon the current price. I'm going to put a little kind of a collar. What I mean by that, let's place OCO order. And what we've done is we've put a buy stop above the current price, and we have a bid in a limit at 53.64. This gives you the ability that if you've entered the trade without the use of the OSO, one starts another, then you can use the OCO order. If you're already in a position and you decide to go ahead and put a stop and a limit, then you can click OCO order and basically put both a bid if you were willing to take a profit here or a stop loss at this particular level here. Again, as always, you can always cancel by looking at the recent button, either cancel bids or cancel all. I'm going to cancel this time bids. This is just an overview of the matrix and the dome that are used in many platforms. They have, most of them have the exact same capabilities, basically automatic to tell you whether it's a limit, whether or not it is a stop, whether or not it is a stop above the current price, or if it's a limit underneath the current price. So you can see it goes both ways automatically. And you have the ability to attach OSO 
and with some platforms, OCO, one cancels the other orders. You have the ability to close a trade automatically. What it does is it, it closes the current position and cancels any other order that you may have. Now in our future videos, I'm going to show you how to change the settings in regards to both OSO orders and the OC orders. In other words, how do I put, instead of being a limit of 10 cents, what if I want to have a limit of only 8 cents, which means $80? What if I want to put a buy stop in or a sell stop, not of 10 cents, but 5 cents? I will illustrate that in another video. I hope this is helpful and we'll have many more videos in the future. This is John Sheely with IamADayTrader.com.